Many new players have trouble understanding the Artificer class, which we believe is the most complex class among all the ones found in the first core rulebook. This class manipulates Magitek devices through their spells and is capable of firing guns. The Artificer is rather unique as a percentage of their spells enchant bullets. However, these bullets are practically useless by themselves and need to be fired with a gun using the Marksman class. While it is possible to play without having levels in Marksman, it is not recommended. We will touch on the possibility of playing Artificer without Marksman later on in this video. Bullet spells cost 1 or 2 MP to cast, while dealing or healing the same amount of damage as spells from other wizard-type classes that cost about 3 times the MP. As a downside, of course, bullet spells can't be used by themselves. They need to be used in conjunction with a gun. Guns are categorized as ranged weapons, however, which means to use a gun effectively, you will need to use the Marksman class. We believe Artificers were designed as a sustainable source of magic damage in long combat scenarios. To make them useful in this manner, while not becoming overpowered, they need Marksmen to function properly. You can sort of think of Artificer and Marksman as a single class that is a little more powerful than other classes, but also more expensive to level as a result. It makes a lot of sense for these two to be split, since not every Marksman wants to use a gun and likewise, not everyone who wants to play Artificer necessarily wants or needs a gun. Likewise, this makes it possible to have differing levels in each. It's more flexible this way and fits better in with the rest of the classes. The majority of the Artificer class is straightforward, as it essentially plays like any other spellcasting class in the game. However, bullet spells are a source of confusion for some new players due to several factors. Firstly, their unique relationship with guns. To attack with a gun, a character needs to roll accuracy using the Marksman class plus Dexterity modifier. However, unlike other weapons, gun weapons do not have a fixed power. Instead, their power comes from the enhanced bullet spell used before the attack. This is because you can't shoot a gun without using a bullet spell at all. Additionally, extra damage is applied, as with all spells, using the Artificer class plus Intelligence modifier, making shooting with a gun a combination of Warrior-type and Wizard-type classes. The second factor to consider is the timing of bullet spells. All bullet spells are cast as a minor action and must be done before shooting on the same turn. Therefore, you need to cast your bullet spell with a minor action, then use your major action to shoot the gun. You then roll for accuracy for your gun attack, and upon hitting, Calculate the damage using the power of the bullet spell and add the extra damage from the magic power of the artificer. Bullet spells are listed as any other spells, and since they are cast with a minor action, some players wrongly assume that they can be rapidly fired off. However, as previously established, a bullet spell can't be fired without a gun, and a gun attack still uses your major action. Instead, you should think of these as a sort of enchantment for the bullet in the gun transferring the spell's power onto the gun for this round. Naturally, every time you fire your gun, you will need to cast another bullet spell. So if you can attack twice in a round, you still need to cast two bullet spells. Magispheres also add an additional level of complexity because artificers often need to have several of them to account for different transformations required by spells. For example, they may need one for the automobile spell and another one to be destroyed when using the grenade spell. It is important to note that other bomb spells do not destroy the magisphere used. However, for general use, one magisphere of the largest available size would be sufficient. Guns require reloading, which consumes a character's major action and can slow down their damage output compared to other spellcasters. To mitigate this, you can use the following tricks. At 4th level, you gain the Quick Loader spell, which allows you to reload with a minor action by spending some MP. However, this may make your constant damage upkeep less sustainable. Another option is to take advantage of the property of one-handed guns, which can be stored in a holster using a minor action. By having multiple loaded one-handed guns, you can holster one or two guns with a minor action and pick up new guns with minor actions. Of course, this means that you need to buy more guns, which may be pretty expensive. 
For two-handed guns, you can alternatively try this instead. The only action that requires a major action is putting the weapon back into your luggage. Instead of doing so, the character can drop the weapon on the ground and pull out a new gun with a minor action. The dropped gun can be collected later with a major action, once the combat is over. But also, you can play an Artificer without using the Marksman class. Only about 20% of Magitek spells are bullet spells, so you'll have fewer spells to use. However, it's still entirely possible and viable. Of course, bullet spells are the main source of damage for Artificers, however they can still be very useful, even without a gun. One option is to use Artificer as a subclass, focusing on utility spells while choosing another wizard-type class. Alternatively, you can combine Artificer with a different warrior-type class and utilize the Mana Strike combat feat. You could be a gunbreaker, combining Fighter with Artificer, for example. Additionally, Artificers have the ability to summon Magitek mounts, making them a decent subclass for riders. Lastly, Artificers can still deal damage with their 5th level grenade spell, which costs 200 gamel per use, somewhat resembling how alchemists need to buy material cards to function. Mastering the Artificer class may require some extra effort, but the rewards are well worth it. With their MP efficiency, unique bullet spells, and loads of versatility, Artificers offer a truly captivating gameplay experience. So grab your Magispheres, aim true, and let the Magitek fun begin.